Neon Trees is a homegrown band that has made it big. But this week, band members passed on the glitz and glamour and money of Sundance and instead put on three shows at a small venue in Provo. Neon Trees has come back to its roots, to the people and place that helped launch the band. Super oh excited. excited. It's really great that they're back in Provo. I was in junior high when they came to play at a battle of a band. Oh, I'm really excited to see them. Tyler Glenn, the coolest guy ever. Everybody! Now with two major Billboard hits, Neon Trees has become a regular on national television, playing Good Morning America's concert series in the park, and Jimmy Kimmel Live, just to name a few. They've toured the U.S. and the world, but this is still home. We're coming back to Provo to play uh, three intimate shows. The band that came together in Utah County got their start here at Velour a small music gallery in downtown Provo that gives local musicians an audience and a chance to shine. I hope that people are coming to these shows that haven't been to Velour maybe, and it will open their eyes to the fact that there is this cool little gem of a club in Provo. For Neon Trees, this is more than just payback or even saying thank you to fans who were with them from the beginning. This grounds them, reminds them. It doesn't matter whether the venue is big or small, the crowd numbered in the hundreds or the thousands. The only thing that really matters is the music.